Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Kumal Kamal Shekhawar and I hope you all are doing good. This is the second video in the status series and in this video, I am going to discuss how to run Hosman test in Stata. Okay, so let's start with it. First of all, you need to input your data file. So for that, go to file import and if your file is in excel format so you need to select excel spreadsheet okay then browse your file and select your file so as to import in stata okay so i have selected my file and then click open so once you have selected your file the another important thing is that if you have mentioned the variable names in the first row, then you need to click on this import first row as variable names. Okay. And then this. All right. So once you have imported your data file, you can see in this data window, the left hand side shows the command that you have inserted. The right hand side shows the variable names or variable list. So these are all my variables and this is the command window. Okay. Now for running Hosman test in Stata, first of all, you need to set your file. And now to set the panel, the command is xt set your id and time period. So for that, you need to write xt set okay then select your id cross section ids okay then select the time period so this was indicated by the years and then put a comma over here and write yearly since the ids will be sorted yearly so this is a yearly data okay so the command is xt set id year and it is being sorted yearly. Then enter. Okay, so you can see this is a panel data with strongly balanced data from the time period 2000 to 2019 and it is an annual data. Okay, now the steps are as follows. So to run the Hosman test, the first step is to run the fixed effect model. Okay, and to run the fixed effect model, the command is xt reg for regression, then space, then first select your dependent variable, which is log fr in my data case, then followed by all the independent variables. So there are total four independent variables in my data. Okay. So once you have selected all your variables, the first one is dependent variable and the rest are independent variables. Okay. Then put a comma over here and write FE for fixed effects. Okay. So this is the command for fixed effects. XG reg your dependent variable, then all your independent variables, comma and FE. Then press enter. Okay, so as you can see, these are the results for fixed effect within regression model. There are total number of observations, which are 200. The number of groups are 10. The R square value for within fixed effects, between fixed effects and overall fixed effects is given. The next thing is that these are all your variables, their coefficients value, standard error value, t statistics and probability value are uh, mentioned. Okay. And another important thing is the f statistics, probability value and f statistics. So these are the results for fixed effects. So this is the first step. Next, you need to store the fixed effects results. For that, the command is estimates store fe okay then press enter so the results obtained from fixed effect regression model have been stored the next step is to run 
the random effects model okay and the command for running random effects model is xt reg xt r e g then select your dependent variable followed by all the independent variables okay then you need to put a comma over here and write r e for random effects and then press enter okay so these are the results obtained by running random effects gls regression the number of observations as we know were 200 and there were total number of groups 10 or 10 ids okay these are the r squared value within between and overall random effects then the probability chi square value then afterwards the regression coefficients value standard error value their probability value is mentioned once you have run the random effects model again you need to store the estimates obtained by running random effects so for that the command is estimates store r e okay so you need to store the regression estimates obtained by running random effects then press enter all right so the last step is to run the Hosman test so for running Hosman test the command is Hosman fixed effect and random effect the command is Hosman f e r e and then press enter okay so these are the results for Hosman test so as you can see in the very first column the variables are mentioned and in the second column the regression coefficients value obtained from fixed effects are mentioned then the regression coefficients value obtained by running random effects is mentioned okay then the difference between the value of regression coefficients obtained from fixed effects and random effects is mentioned in the third column and in the last column the standard error is mentioned okay now how do one decide which one is appropriate fixed effects or random effects so for that in case of Hosman test the null hypothesis or h naught is difference in coefficients is not systematic okay so if the probability value is less than 0 0.05 or it is less than 5 percent level of significance then fixed effect model is appropriate okay and as you can see here the probability value is 0 0.6040 which is greater than 0 0.05 okay uh, that is it is greater than five percent level of significance so hence we can conclude that random effect model is more appropriate for this particular panel data set so this is how we can uh, find out whether fixed effect model is appropriate or random effects model is appropriate okay so you need to follow all these commands if you want to run Hosman test for a particular data set in Stata. Okay, so steps are first of all, you need to set your panel data. Okay, so for that, the command is xt set. Then you need to run the fixed effect model. Then you need to store the fixed effects estimate. The next step is to run the random effects model. And then you need to store the estimates obtained by random effects. And finally, the command for running Hosman test is Hosman F E R E. Okay. So by following all these steps in Stata, you can obtain your results. And while reporting your results, you need to report the results accordingly okay so if the random effect model is more appropriate you need to report the results of random effects model and if the fixed effect model comes out to be more appropriate then in that case you need to report the results or regression coefficients value of fixed effects model all right okay so i hope you like the video 
please click on the subscribe button so that you can catch up with the next video on Stata and keep following. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.